It also gets me want to talk about those in power, or those who get special privileges. Like Hillary Clinton, like you know, like the, her scandal with the emails, like they contain government secrets and she left them vulnerable to be hacked or whatnot. And then the FBI did not indict her. Like her husband talked to the attorney general, Loretta Lynch or whatnot. Oh, let's let her off. Like even though she broke the rules, she didn't mean to, she didn't know she was doing it, so therefore she didn't do anything wrong. So they just let her off. If it was anybody else, like not running for president, not having that amount of, amount of power, influence, they, their ass would have been in jail by now. You're compromising national security, like borderline with treason. But no, it's Hillary Clinton. And another thing I don't understand, like, how is she winning? Like, I thought people were smarter than that. Like, I see all, like, Bernie Sanders, he stands for all like, the right things, and he stands for, like, the average common man. He can, it's more relatable, not just young people, but middle class, working class. He, it's not that he hates the 1% or hates the rich. He just wants things to be a bit fairer or distributive evenly. Well, not to the point of socialism or communism, but and it's still based on a meritocracy. But in a fair way. Like, no one should be... Like, the minimum wage shouldn't be so low or no one should be having to be on welfare after working two jobs or menial jobs. Like, they should be able to advance their situation, get out of certain environments. Like, get an education more easily. They without the fear of student debt or health insurance that's what he stands for and even though his positions influences Hillary's positions it's, it's nowhere the same as if he was the candidate the Democratic nominee like the other day he endorsed Hillary Clinton I'm very sure that's not because he wanted to he had no choice it was the best thing to do Like, of course, he could have ran a third party. In fact, the Green Party said, oh, if he wants to run, he can, like, jump on our ticket. But then the Democratic Party would be divided. And of course, the point is to defeat Donald Trump, who stands for, like, all the wrong things. He's not a presidential candidate. He's, he's a clown. Like, the way he carries himself, the things he says, you know, everything he stands for, his history... I went to the presidential section of the American History Museum. I can't imagine. It's such a position of respect and dignity. And he doesn't really display that, you know? He's more of a reality TV show. He's for controversy and gets people talking and interested. But, of course, he wants to cater to the common person who wants... Well, oh, my life sucks. It's this person's fault, that person's fault. You're blaming this or that. He's taking extreme positions. But there are also multiple sides to a story. Maybe there's a certain way he's like this. But in the end, he's a businessman. You really think he has your interests at heart? Then maybe deep down, or he hoodwinked us all this entire time he does. But right now, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. He is in it to promote himself. And, th and there was a stupid issue called deflate gate. Right? Like Tom Brady, uh, he, the footballs in a certain game weren't at a certain PSI, a certain pressure amount. They were a bit flatter, so easier for gripping and throwing. And I think Tom Brady was in on it. And this issue was fought about for over a year, almost two years through multiple court systems and the results flip back and forth like one side does not like the results they appeal it higher and higher and higher until ultimately Tom Brady lost because Roger Goodell the commissioner he can dish out a four game suspension which is pretty outrageous for what's allegedly cheating in the very um, faulty investigation 
for such a, a menial thing. It's flat footballs. They're not even that flat. They're like a little bit softer. There are many more egregious crimes. Like people get suspended a whole year for, I don't know, violating their drug policy. Like Josh Gordon. Well, then again, he did it three times, so that's on him. There are many more egregious things to care about. There are more important things in this world to care about than flat footballs. There are many pe football players who get away with many worse things. But no, all the time and resources and media and coverage and attention has been spent on deflate gate. Well, though I'm glad it's over, I hope it's over. It just goes to show like how we're being controlled into what we think, what we care about, what is supposedly important when deep down you know what is or what isn't. And Roger Goodell, he's judge, jury, and executioner. He stays in power. Of course, it's because of the CBA. Like the players negotiated it during the lockout. So he gets all the rights he wants. He gets paid 40 mil a year. He works for all the owners. Well, if you don't want him wielding that power, they shouldn't have put it in the CBA. But of course, from the player standpoint, they just want to play football. They want to get paid. They want it settled in the best way they can. So they let a couple things slide, and this definitely slid. And they have to live with the consequences. And not to mention Brock Turner, the swimmer at Stanford who raped a girl behind an unconscious girl behind a dumpster, got only six months in prison. Like, I see enough Law and Order SVU. I know it's a fictional case, I mean, a fictional show, and of course I can't sympathize with rape victims. But I, even I know six months is really lenient. Because though you're not assault, physically hurting someone or murdering someone, but you violate their body, you scar them for life. Like that girl won't be the same again. So why should like Brock Turner, like after he gets out in six months, like he gets to go on doing whatever he wants in his life? Like public scrutiny is nowhere as heavy a crime as jail time. Like the guy who. Uh, the absolute ones that kid who like, was a drunk driving and killed four people and he got 10 years of probation because oh he was too rich to know any better yeah so it just goes to show that though it's unfair it's the way the world is right now certain people get certain privileges for certain offenses like Hillary Clinton, Brock Turner, the absolute ones that kid, Roger Goodell